Hi, this is Paul Texano. The demo today is how to make your current scripts dynamic and reusable with RAS Automation Manager. In the RAS Automation Manager console, I will create a module to get the process names from a system. I will add a PowerShell task to execute a PowerShell script. I will type in the script in the scripts tab of this module. So I'll type in get process. Scheduling this job to run on the current system. And now I get a list of all the running processes on this computer. I'm going to pay attention to two of the processes, Notepad and MS Paint, just for the sake of the demo. I have them running. And now I'm going to create a module that will kill Notepad. So instead of creating a new module, I can clone the one I already made. Give it a new name, kill Notepad, changing the script from just getting processes to get the process where the process name is notepad and then do a kill. When I'm finished, scheduling this new module on the same system and notepad will be killed as soon as the module is being executed. But this is a static script. You have to create individual scripts to kill individual processes. So how can you make this more dynamic? In RS Automation Manager you can work with parameters, module parameters, and I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to clone the module I'm going to give it a new name, kill process, and then I'm going to create a module parameter. The module parameter will be process name. Give a hint, so type the name of the process you want to kill. And then I'm going to add the parameter into the script, into the PowerShell script. So instead of a notepad, I'm going to replace that with the parameter I just created, the process name. So now when I schedule the module to run, you will see that I've got an exclamation mark in the job parameters tab. Now I can type in the process I want to kill. Now I've made my PowerShell script dynamic and reusable. What you also can do in RAS Automation Manager is to create a list of processes to kill. Let me show you how you can do this. So cloning the kill process module. So now I can choose to kill either Notepad or MS Paint. I will create a new module parameter. So instead of me typing in a process name, I will have a list of processes to, to select from. So I'll create a list and I'll add a notepad as a setting with a description and I will also add MS Paint as a setting. I'm replacing the parameter, I'm placing the parameter in the script so when I schedule the job I will have two options, two processes to kill. Either kill Notepad or MS Paint. In this case I will kill MS Paint. And when the module is being executed on my system, the process is killed. 
So this is a way you can take your existing static PowerShell scripts, VB scripts, or Shakur shell scripts and make them dynamic and reusable. If you want to know more about RAS Automation Manager, please visit www.rasoftware.com. Thank you for listening and goodbye.